we're getting set up for crafts and crafts here at lawless brewing our first guest is ross kimball yeah he's here we're going to talk about some stuff that ross has done but we're not getting we're not not here not on not on zane's world right you have to watch crafts and crafts for that to happen and click on the link right here click on the is that, is it, we can do that sure can do it, sure yeah <laughs> and then we got nick people know nick nick's the, nick's from the guy from the tour you also do this yeah oh this is pretty oh, cool i don't know where cameras are <laughs> you don't know where or what Crafts and Crafts, if you guys, if you don't know, I hope you do, but it's where I sit down with a celebrity, like Mr. Kimball here, and do Kimball got <laughs> Wasn't there, a, didn't yeah. Schwarzenegger yell Kimball about, uh, to well, somebody? Dr. Uh, Dr. Kimball, Harrison Ford, and then uh, Kimball from Kindergarten Cop. So who's Mr. Kimball, Schwarzenegger? Yeah, Schwarzenegger. I'm Kimball got <laughs> No! No! I sit down with a celebrity and drink craft beer and do arts and crafts. And today, um, I haven't even told Ross what we're doing, He'll enjoy it. And then we're drinking craft beer. And at the end, there is a six pack challenge. Pulling a little bit of that from Drinking Made Easy where if they answer six questions correctly, they go home with a six pack of Lawless Brewing Company beer. They just have to pay the taxes on it. Yeah. That was great. That was our second day of shooting Crafts and Crafts. Ross and Grace were amazing. Those are gonna be fantastic uh, episodes. Who I wish could do a better job was Shane, but he, the thing. What's up? Hey, buddy. I, what's up? Oh, no, I was just telling people no, I just how, heard you like, say something. I just heard you say something. Yeah. You, you wanna were, say it again on camera? Yeah, I said, oh my gosh, Shane is I amazing. wanna talk to your manager. Um, I, I would like to talk to your manager. Yeah, okay, I'm the manager. You're the manager. Yeah. You're the manager of Zane Lamprey Enterprises. Yeah, I'm the manager of this, this store. How convenient, Zane. <laughs> How convenient. I'm gonna contact my lawyer. This is what happens when I'm doing voiceover. When I'm doing voiceovers, it's very difficult with Pumpkin's here because he makes me keep it. He makes me keep it down. Roar, said the monster, as he walked in to the room. I will destroy you. I will, I will destroy you. It's been, a, it's been a day and it's noon right now. I'm heading to the vet. Mel rushed Pinocchio in, our cat Pinocchio, because he was having breathing problems and he has pneumonia. She's there right now, I'm just gonna go and see whatever I can do to help, even if it's just for emotional support. Checked his oxygen levels, which were low, and determined that he has pneumonia. They're gonna check him in. Yeah, this is, this is a normal day. So Pinocchio has aspiration pneumonia, which is, does that have anything to do with this condition? It's, you know, because of his nose shape and his nasal passages being closed because of his skull shape. Yeah. He aspirates on his food because he's breathing while he's eating. What does that mean, aspirate? Basically, the food is getting into his lungs. Got it. So, Pinocchio was born with a umbilical hernia, uh, which was a small tear in his, like, abdominal wall of his muscles, and it grew to the point where his organs started to actually fall out of his body. Not out of his body onto the ground, but into his skin. So he had a skin sack of his, like his intestines and stuff. He needed to get older in order to be able to put him under anesthesia and then uh, put everything back in. And at that point, his body hadn't grown. His chest cavity hadn't grown. So they needed to increase the size of his chest cavity. So he's been through a lot and he's what's called a hospice foster, basically, where just he's, he's a constant medical uh, issue. And this is the third time that he's had aspirational pneumonia. What? I don't know how many times, but it's aspiration pneumonia, not aspirational. This is the third time that he's aspired to have pneumonia and succeeded in it. So anyway, he has pneumonia, he's in an oxygen tank. He will be fine from this, but it's just something that's gonna continue to happen with him. Is that accurate? All your information isn't exactly correct. Perfect, but I think I, what, what would I get on my information? A B? A uh, C. Great, that's what I got in school anyway. Mel and I are having uh, not awesome days today to the point where we just wanna unplug. Unplug or like zone out completely and 
out of this world. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> we we kind of said, like, okay, let's just unplug. What do you want to do today? And today by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And by, right now it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, you want to just, like, order some food and watch Harry Potter? And I was like, yeah, or <laughs> we could just go to Harry Potter. <laughs> Like the real sky, it like it matches so well. Like it's better here on a like a just a gloomy day because it feels like more authentic. Where do we get cocktail? Boom. I got it, the Guinness. So it's a little busy today, and therefore you would need to uh, wait in a line, which you can see over there. It's about a hundred people to get food, and then you can have a table. If you just get a drink, you can't. So we'll have a drink now, walk around, and then um, maybe come back later when it will possibly have thinned out, but probably not. Cheers. Okay. Oh, hey. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> I told Mel we have to go on one ride while we're here, so she chose the Jurassic World ride so that we're not waiting in line all day, which is about 60 minutes. We're doing single rider, so she's in the uh, boat ahead of me. Most unexpected. Ah, all right. I feel better. Burning up the beer and the cheeseburger. We just had. 255. 260. What? There's more. Why am I doing this? We gotta do the stairs because because we drank, but because we're not on vacation. We gotta get our steps in and make room for more drinks and junk food. Oh my god, that's one way to do it. I need a beer. I went and picked up Pinocchio. Pocky. Excuse me. Excuse me. How do you feel? Better. Well, he's back home. He got the oxygen treatment and he is on several medications and he is doing so much better. So much better. I know. And that is just his normal sound. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's the happy sound. Right, buddy? Yeah. I have reached out to 342 breweries today trying to wrap up the, uh, well, the tour that's now on sale at zaneleper.com. Um, so I'm taking a, a cat break. Um, McKinley is taking a break with me and then the rest of the kittens are working on various projects around the room. Harrison's working on making something there. What else? Okay, you're working on that. What's going on? There are seven cats in this room. We are leaving our house now to head just north of Santa Barbara to meet Mel's sister, who is adopting Bella, who is talking in the back. She's gonna do a foster to adopt to see if it works with two souls. Right, so she'll so, have her for a little while, okay. just filling it out slowly. Right, so her uh, her sister Bree adopted uh, Tinsel, one of our other cats, and now she's fostering to adopt, meaning that she'll uh, take Bella in and see if she can become friends with Tinsel. It's probably going to be a month or so. Okay. If it's a month, then th let, let's let's be clear. This is going to be an adoption situation, I, I would imagine. I just don't know how the two are going to do together. Yeah. So we're actually meeting them at uh, Cold Spring Tavern, 
which is a place that Mel and I like. It's an old stagecoach road. It's actually called Old Stagecoach Road. And it's a road that the um, the stagecoaches uh, would take. It's like a Wells Fargo stop, right? Yeah, I think it was yeah. a Wells Fargo stop. So when the Wells Fargo, and you see the logo of the bank, it's an old stagecoach. This is a place that they would stop because they could only go a certain distance to feed and water the horses and rest themselves. So now there's a tavern there that's uh, pretty busy on the weekends. It's just a really cool place. We could have met them in Santa Barbara, but we any excuse we have to go to Cold Spring Tavern, we do it. It's like in a forest. Yeah, it's very- and it's like a historical site. Yeah. So it's like, there's not a lot of that in California, unless it's a mission on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, well, any opportunity that, that Mel and I have to like just transport ourselves someplace else, um, we'll take that opportunity. So, so as we did with going to the three broomsticks to get a drink, uh, it's the same with driving two hours to Cold Spring Tavern to do the same thing, so. This is the busiest I've ever, ever seen it. Okay, are you guys ready for your new cat? It doesn't quite hurt as much knowing it's going to you guys. Like usually at this point we'd be like sure. crying. And so we'll see what happens when you guys actually do pull away. But because we know that she's going to a great place, it's 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 fine. We've come here uh, a bunch. We originally shot here for drinking made easy. That's when we discovered it. And it's kind of an off the beaten path kind of place. They have the barbecue going and they have the two bars. And it's usually pretty quiet. Even the weekends, it's like, you know, you wait five, 10 minutes for a sandwich. But now I think because this is the first nice day that we've had in like months, the place is packed. And someone else said that they just realized how to promote themselves on social media. So this is the uh, this is the line to get to uh, get a sandwich, a steak sandwich. So what are, you, what are you doing on your phone? Are you like an influencer or something? I'm texting uh, my sister. That's great. <laughs> to, see to see how the cat's doing <laughs> 10 minutes later. Shane, who's producing and editing this, brought cake pops. You know those cake pops from Starbucks? The first time he came over to... It was to, Valentine's Day. His, it was so Valentine's... Like, in his defense. Over. It doesn't need to be defended for this. It needs to be appla <laughs> applauded for this. Yes. He showed up at my house to meet with me. Actually, just to go for a hike and brought Mel two cake pops yeah. from Starbucks. Ne next time, he did the same exact thing. Yeah. And, and, so, and yeah. so Mel started calling them Shane Pops. Yeah, because I had never had one before. They're very decadent. They're so good. So well, while we sit here and enjoy our drinks, let's let Shane do a pretty cool like music montage of the Cold Springs Tavern. But yeah, let's do it in sepia tone. And so it looks all old timey. Heading up to our local pet store in Studio City called Rusty's, where they have a, a collie. But he just passed away a few months ago. Mel was hoping that they got another puppy, Rusty, so we'll find out. Let's see. Let's see if there's a Rusty here. This is the old Rusty here. Uh, what? 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 Rusty! <laughs> Yeah, she has two. One is a blue merle. Yeah, we can some treats. Hey, Rusty! Rusty! Hi! Good to meet you. So there you go. Rusty's back. We missed him. This is the fourth Rusty. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Feels good. There's two boxes, but there's another one. I can't. I'll do one a day. What? <laughs> Oh my god, this is the biggest cat treat ever. Oh, stop it. I have to do my computers. I have to do my computer works. I can't really get to my computer when you're here. 